guys, so today I am going to run you through what I do on a regular basis, just as my daily routine. Um, I've had a lot of people ask me what I do throughout the day um, as a stay-at-home mom and just kind of ask me like what chores I do on a regular basis. So I thought I would just run through and make a quick video and I apologize for the shakiness and the bad audio because I'm just going to film this from my phone to make it easier. So stay tuned. My day typically starts uh, Monday through Friday at 4 or 4.30 in the morning, depending on when my husband has to get up, because I wake up with him, and while he's getting ready for work and getting his clothes on and his tools ready, I'm making him food. And I usually, we've been trying out this new meal plan recently. So here it is, our new meal plan. Um, we've been trying to cut back on a lot of carbs and just have protein and vegetables and a few other things. Um, so this is the meal plan we've been going on, and I just alternate these three days and once I get to the end I repeat them again and so I will make him breakfast a snack lunch and a snack for while he's at work and I stuff it all in his lunchbox and then I give him a hug and a kiss and send him out the door and then usually I go back to bed because it's around five o'clock at that time and I have a little bit of time until my kids wake up and I need all the sleep I can get when I wake up I try to Wake up slowly because I am a grumpy person in the morning. And I have this by my bed, if you can see, this giant water bottle. And I also have these vitamins. I was doing a different vitamin set for a while, but it just wasn't working with my body. So I've been doing these. Um, and I take two of these every morning, and then I try to drink um, half of this before I even get out of bed. Sometimes it takes me like 10 minutes to drink half of it because I just drink it slowly so I don't have a bloated stomach. But I find when I take my vitamins and I drink the water before I even get out of bed right as I wake up, I don't have a problem with my joints. And I have bad joints. And so this has some silica and stuff in it for joints. So I take that and then drink the water and it helps get my system going. And then I go and wake up my kids. So these are my boys. And they usually wake up between 7 and 8. Now with the time chains. Wave guys. Say hi. hi. This is Alex and Blake. Hi. And this is their messy room after playing all morning. We'll pick this up before nap time. We usually wake up and I get them breakfast. So then after my kids are fed, I come over and I start myself some coffee. And I make myself some breakfast, which is the same thing my husband's on. We're having eggs every day for breakfast with a side. Usually it's granola or toast or sometimes just fruit. Um, and then I put this in my coffee and in my husband's drink. I just send it to work with him. It's collagen. Um, it's good for like hair, skin, and nails, and joints, and it's just your skin, your cells use collagen on a regular basis, so it's good to put it back in there. Um, I am, I like this one because it's uh, gluten and dairy free. A lot of collagen is not dairy free, um, and so it works really well with my body. And I got this huge, huge guy at Costco. You can also get it at like a vitamin store. So that's what we do. I do my coffee and I do my breakfast. This is my sink. It's normally filled with dishes every morning. I have already done the dishes and put them in the dishwasher this morning. And I still need to clean off my counter if you can see all the yuck. Um, so then after I do breakfast for us, I will sit down and make out my list of things I want to do for the day. If I don't have anything going on that day, then I don't make a list. But I have things that I want to accomplish, like going to the store. Um, or if I have outside products I want to do, I'll try to make a list to help myself remember. Because I forget a lot. I'm very absent-minded, especially with the kids constantly nagging at me all day to do this for that for them or feed them or other things. It helps me to have a list that I can go back to and um, keep on track with what I'm doing for the day. After we've had breakfast and dishes are done, I go through Alex with school with him and he just turned four this year. So we've been doing number recognition. He already knows how to count to 10, but we've been working on actually knowing what the numbers look like. We've been working on his shapes and how to draw them. And then he's been working on writing letters. He's done pretty well with A. If you can see, those are all his. And then we've been working on B this week. It's upside down. Um, and he's been working on the letters before, but I find it's good to kind of refresh every once in a while. And then we've been doing the Teach Your Child to Read in 100 Easy Lessons. And this book goes a little fast for boys. It's great for girls, but... Alex, um, and also my mom said with my brother, it just needed extra time. So sometimes I'll do the same lesson twice. Um, and he's actually been getting that pretty well. And then we have this just fun jumbo workbook full of just fun things, circle, uh, 
all the circles um, and draw lines to things super easy. Then after we've done our school and my breakfast has had a chance to settle, I do this. It's 10 minute workouts. Um, there's a warm up and a cool down and then there's calisthenics, which is like a total body workover, kickboxing, booty boot camp, pilots and cardio burn. And I alternate between these Monday through Friday. I rarely do the cardio burn just because cardio, you only burn uh, calories when you're actually doing the cardio. And so uh, I like to do things with weights and work up and strengthen because then you're burning calories even when you're not doing it. And I was doing other more advanced ones that I have. Like I have this uh, Killer Cardio, Ripped in 30, a few other ones. But I just went through a miscarriage. And so I took a couple months off to give my body a chance to heal. So I'm just now getting back into working out. And I find this 10-minute one is easy enough for me that I'm not straining myself. And I can also fit it in because 10 minutes is not that long. Um, and I find that if it's a 30-minute or longer video, I just won't do it. Or I'll stop halfway or just forget about it. And so this has been really great for me for now. So then after my workout, I come in and take a shower or a bath, depending on how I'm feeling. Um, and I've been really liking this. I found at Walmart on the clearance, this cleansing hair mask that you put on twice a week. Um, it helps just kind of get rid of all the gunk that sits in your hair and piles up. And I've been using it and I really like the results. It was like three bucks um, and it smells super yummy. So I do that and then I put my face on. It's me. Um, I have been using this Walmart <laughs> mascara, which I really like. You're supposed to replace your mascara every three months, but I do like more every six months. And I've just been trying this with primer. I don't normally use primer, but I've actually been liking the results. I get more voluminous eyelashes. And then I put on my deodorant, which I've just started using this this last month. And it's the best natural deodorant I've ever used. It's a Lume deodorant. I started using their lavender sage one, but I um, don't like sage. And that sage was very, very potent. So this unscented one is very nice, and unfortunately they only have two scents, the lavender sage or this unscented. I wish they would come up with a lavender vanilla one or something like that. But this one actually stays on all day because with other natural deodorants, they don't stay on all day and I have to really apply them every like two hours. So I'm putting on deodorant five times a day or I just give in and use a antiperspirant just for the ease of not having to stink. And I've also noticed since I've been using this one, uh, my own natural body odor has been getting better. It used to actually be pretty potent. It was disgusting. But this one actually has changed my natural body odor because it kills the bad bacteria. And, fun fact, if I have a shirt that I had bad bacteria on before because washing won't get out that bad bacteria, and I put this on with the shirt uh, that had the bad bacteria on it, it kills the bad bacteria so it no longer stinks the shirt. It's kind of fun. After I've had my shower, I drink a full one of these. I forgot to mention, I drink a full one of these right after I'm done working out. Um, and then I drink another one after my shower so that the other one has had time to settle. Because when you work out, you produce a chemical in your body. That's what causes your muscles to hurt. And water is one of the few things, it's the only thing I know of, I don't know if there's anything else, the lactic acid, that uh, dissolves it. And so I try to drink as much water as I can right after I work out. And that helps with the burning sensation you get the next day. I'm not as sore the next day after I'm working out. So then after all that, I usually give the boys a snack and myself a snack, and we come outside and I'll do stuff on our tiny house or in my flower beds, um, or just play outside with the kids or sit and enjoy the sun. We just took down our hot tub. We needed to replace the water, so we've been letting it drain out, and now it's just kind of sitting there until we fill it back up. We've also been planting a lot of stuff in our greenhouse. We have some strawberries. And then I planted a buttload of pansies just because I didn't want to spend 500 bucks at the store to put pansies all over my yard. And so all of these egg cartons and this tray right here are all pansies. And they all look like they're sprouting. So I might have some pansies to, uh, <laughs> I might be giving away to people because I have too many. Then we have some plants that we're just hibernating that haven't quite popped out again. We just got this greenhouse from my grandparents recently, and so 
we have been making use of it and I've really loved being able to start my plants early. I still haven't started any of my vegetables, which shame on me, I need to do that soon. And after that, I make the kids lunch and then I put them down for a nap and we usually do a quick toy pickup and put all their toys back in their room before nap time. I don't make them pick up their toys and organize them until before bedtime, but at nap time I have all the toys back in their room. That way the house is clean if I have someone pop in or something. And then while the kids are napping, I will, it depends, I will nap sometimes if I'm super tired or it's that time of the month or something, or I will do chores like clean my kitchen floor, which I like to hand scrub my kitchen floor on my hands and knees because I feel like it gets clean better than any mops that I've used because then it's just sticky and I don't like that sticky feeling. I like that fresh, clean, scrubbed feeling. Or um, I will go outside and do more yard work if I might have a project I'm in the middle of. Or sometimes I'll just sit and watch a movie. I am a huge movie buff. Like It doesn't matter what time of the year it is. So if I'm not feeling that well but not quite too tired to take a nap, I'll sit and have a movie time or read a book. Um, the kids' nap time is when I have me time because I find if I don't have some me time or I do something I enjoy, I get stressed out easily. And then when my husband comes home, I'm a freaked out mess that's grumpy and irritated and it's not great. So I make sure to have that me time while the kids are napping, whatever it tends to be. It changes from day to day. Um, but I find that's been super important. Then after the boys wake up, I usually start a load of laundry and I do laundry once a day. Sometimes every other day, depending, because I dry my laundry um, either outside when it's nice or on this laundry rack. And I like this because these parts, you can pull them out and then they slide down and they fold up. So that way it just kind of folds up on itself. Um, so I really like this indoor laundry thing because it folds up just to be like that skinny all along because these parts fold down on the top and the bottom and it fits everything that I need to have on it so I usually start laundry and this rack I got off of Amazon for like forty dollars if you're wondering if you just type in um, laundry rack high capacity you'll get something like this because most laundry racks are not don't hold as much clothes as this one does and then usually about that time in the evening sometime between four to seven <laughs> um, my husband gets home and we have dinner um, and then I usually don't plan anything for the evenings because I pretty much do whatever my husband wants to do. Because um, he likes to work on projects in the evening or if he's not feeling well, we'll just kind of hang out inside or hang out outside. Um, and then usually around 7.30ish, I have the boys pick up their toys and organize their room. So everything gets put away, everything gets put back nice and neat. So it's ready for the next day for chaos again tomorrow. <laughs> Um, and so that's usually that and then I'll put them to bed around 8 o'clock and we read them a couple books and change Blake's diaper and put them to bed and that's it and then husband and I husband and I <laughs> will hang out the rest of the evening um, sometimes it's watching a movie sometimes it's doing a project sometimes it's just talking um, and then right before bed I will do my bedtime routine which involves washing my face with a Norwex cloth. This is a body cloth that they have. It's microfiber and in it, it's embedded with silver. So any germs that get on it, uh, since they can't live on silver that are on my face, once this cloth dries out, those germs are dead because germs can't live on silver. So I use this every night to wash my face. And then I regularly brush my teeth throughout the day after I'm done eating, but I'll do it right before I go to sleep. This is a toothpaste I use. I was making my own for a while with coconut oil and baking soda and essential oils and some mineral oil, but I uh, just bought this this last time to see if it would be a little easier because the coconut oil is kind of hard to scoop out when it hardens. And then I, after I have washed my face, I put all of this on my face. I put tea tree for my acne, lavender for healing up any old acne scars, frankincense and lemon are both good just uh, for replenishing your skill, and then coconut oil for your replenishing your skin, sorry. And then coconut oil is great for firming up your skin. So I put all of these on every night before I go to bed and I've really loved the results that I've been getting. Um, it keeps my acne at bay because I just have one of those people blessed with tons of acne and it seems to really help. I got this at Dollar Tree actually and I've been trying out. It says it's um, just coconut oil. 
Oh, uh, wait, that's not the ingredients. My bad. Where are the ingredients? I guess it doesn't have any ingredients. It's just, oh yeah, it does. It's the ingredients, coconut oil. That's it. Um, and I've been trying this out because some coconut oil doesn't work that well. But this one's actually been working great. It was a dollar. So I've been using that for my face. So that is what I do typically throughout the day. Um, that's usually what I do. That's my day's activities. Um, and I must make a, a big thank you. A huge shout out to my husband who is amazing. He helps me in the evening. Like if I have been really sick that day and I can't get anything done or I haven't done anything that day because I've just not felt well or if it's that time of the month and I'm having really awful cramps and I've just been in bed on the heating pad all day and I'm grumpy, he'll come and he'll do chores. He'll take care of the kids. He'll put them down for me and then he'll come and he'll rub my feet or do something nice for me and he is amazing. And so I don't mind bending over backwards for him to do stuff only with him on the weekends and the evenings. I have the hardest time scheduling girl time away from him. I don't like doing anything on the weekends or evenings without him just because he's gone so much and I I really admire how much work he puts into providing for us and just being there for us when we need him. And so he is my huge savior when it comes to issues that come up that I haven't been able to get to or just coming home and loving on me. I really love him a lot. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's the video. Make sure you like and subscribe. And I'm going to try to do a vlog type video every Wednesday on this channel. Stay tuned if that actually happens because sometimes Wednesdays are my go out and see people day. And so I may not get around to doing it. So it might be on Thursday or Tuesday. Um, so yeah, stay tuned. And if you have any ideas for future vlogs, I would love them. Thanks for watching.